Virgos, welcome. This is the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys today. We're going to take a look into December and see what energy is coming towards you. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to click that bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on any future videos. All right, so let's see. I'm, I'm trying to see what I can feel for you guys, for Virgos. All right, so... What messages are there for Virgos? Keep in mind, guys, these these readings are general, so they won't resonate with every single Virgo. This is going to be for sun, moon, and rising. Okay, sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising, Virgos. I feel like, okay, we got a jumper. Okay, we got truth. Okay, so maybe you're waiting for the truth to be revealed. All right, we got the sun card. So this is something being coming to the light. All right, so maybe you're waiting for someone to reveal some type of truth to you. Or you're waiting to reveal the truth to somebody. Okay, I feel, I got emotional loss, okay? So, there's some regrets, okay? But all of a sudden, like, I just, like, yawned, like, in the middle of me shuffling cards. I'm getting that some of you guys are feeling tired. You're tired of something. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, most definitely financial strain, okay? So, maybe some of you guys are having some regrets. Maybe someone is overspending, um, but someone is looking back here with regrets, okay? And give me one more card for our house. All right, we got suffering in silence. And once again, someone is suffering in silence. The same two cards just pop right back out. And it's because of material. This is Ace of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles. Someone is overspending. Someone doesn't have enough. There's something here in regards to finances, okay? And some of you guys are suffering in silence. You're not saying anything about your resources, your money, your funds, but some of you actually are looking for a helping hand or you're just deciding, you know what, I'm not going to ask anybody for help. I'm going to just just deal with it on my own. But some of you guys are looking back at, this, at a situation with regrets, okay? And there's some type of truth that is going to be revealed or has already been revealed. All right, we got the Nine of Cups, a so wish fulfillment, okay? So... This is your desires. You're looking at something that you want, okay? You want. Maybe you're looking for balance. This is the temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But maybe you want peace. You want balance. You know, you're trying to find a, a harmonious um, way to, you know, you're trying to find a way to keep things peaceful, okay? And balance. Or for some of you guys, I'm just picking like you want something to be equal, even, give and take. Or you want to go half with someone, or so you want someone to meet you halfway, okay? Yeah, six of pentacles. You want someone, I'm picking like you want someone to go half with you. You want something that's equal, okay? You want something that's equal, and you're waiting for them to say something about some stability. We got King of Pentacles, and we got the Four of Wands. So you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. In regards to something stability, about stability, you could be married to this person. You could be living with this person. This could be someone involved in your family, okay? But I feel like you're waiting for them to say, tell you what they're going to give you or something about give and take here. Okay, there's something about give and take, finding a balance. For a lot of you guys, you know, you're trying to get someone to go half with you on something or to help you. I'm picking up on help, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. But this is you guys' energy. 
All right, so we got the chariot card and the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands. Wow. Okay, so you're wanting forward movement, most definitely. Okay, you're wanting things to change. You're wanting things to move forward. Okay, so you're looking for things to speed up and go forward. The past energy. What was going on in the past? Okay, king of cups. Someone was expressing their feelings, being nice, being lovey-dovey, okay? But I feel like it's not enough to heal uh, things here. Somebody is just being nice just because it's what I'm getting. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini. But I feel like there's a decision between two people or two different things. And someone was just kind of like being nice here. We got King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone was being very nice and sweet and loving and caring here. What's crowning this situation? Ace of Wands. Okay, so you could be wanting all someone wants, some wants to do the ha ha ha. King of Wands. And the Ace of Wands, someone is very attracted to you or you to them. Okay? That's most definitely what I'm getting. The Ace of Wands is a new start as well, a new beginning. This is using your creative energy, okay? But it's most definitely like a new start. Future energy. I'm picking up on sex as well. Future energy. Future energy. We got the seven of pentacles okay so this is being patient and um a lot of you guys could be trying to invest okay we have the four of wands okay so some of you guys could be focused in and zoomed in on stability i'm picking it up a lot um stability here for the virgos okay stability all right why is the nine of cups here Four of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you guys are deciding to hold back, giving someone what they want. Maybe hoping that they'll go with another decision or look at their other options. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> so there's conflict, okay? So. Maybe by you holding back and resisting, this made the other person mad um, because you got the five of wands. Someone is pissed, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Very beautiful energy, earth sign. Queen of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another earth sign like yourself. And then we also have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So here with the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords. Someone is, that's what I was getting. Someone is like feeling tired or feeling they need to take some type of break. Okay, somebody, I'm just getting that. Like Four of Swords is when you're meditating or you're thinking to yourself, you're taking time off. Yeah, see, someone is tired of stressing. Someone is tired of worrying. Okay, someone is possibly can't sleep at night. Um, it's having problems sleeping. Like I'm just getting like worried. Okay. King of Cups. Why is King of Cups here? Hermit, you guys is energy. Tell me when you guys either you or another partner was being nice. Okay, being lovey dovey here with the lovers card. Could be a Gemini. Okay, but did you really mean that or did they really mean that? Ace of Wands. 
Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? All right, so I feel like there you're hoping that something is going to be worth it in the future, but I feel like you're going to be looking back at a situation like, oh, I hope I don't regret a, a, a move that I made, okay? Someone um, isn't able to work or does not want to work or doesn't want to be cooperative. We got the Four of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Five of Cups, Three, Four, Five here. So this is about progressing. Someone isn't making any progression. You may feel like um, you're going to end up regretting something. You're hoping that something is going to be worth it. But I don't feel like you're too sure about it. Why is the star card here? Aquarius is energy. Queen of Wands, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this could most, def most definitely be a fire sign um, or action being taken. But you're hoping that something is, hope it's like, I, I hope it's worth it. You may be communicating that to someone. I'm picking up on Capricorn's energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn or Capricorn could be involved. But it's just like a lack of happiness. Someone is the most definitely like is it happy as possibly because there is a lack with the five of pentacles there. Someone feels left out in the cold or rejected or there's not enough. Someone feels like someone isn't doing enough. All right, please give me some cards for Virgos. What message is there for Virgos? messages there for Virgos. All right, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual background. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone that has a different, uh, come from a different background than you. Okay, your views may be different from um, each other. Okay, I have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. For some of you Virgos, you guys are going to be finding chemistry with someone new. Okay, so some of you guys are going to be flirting with new people. All right, and let me get one more card, please, for Virgos. Please give me one more card for Virgo. Thank you. All right, we have deception. Okay, so this could be from someone from your past that you decide to free yourself from, okay? Someone from the past comes back around playing their games. Someone is just wearing a false mask, okay? So I too much really wouldn't be focused on this past person, Virgo. I feel like you need to look for more for ahead um, because it does look like a lot of you guys have new love coming in for you. More, Someone new that you're going to be extending your lighthearted energy to and it's going to be lots of flirting going on. And this person from the past just comes back around to stir up mess, to, um, you know, tell more lies, be more manipulative. It's, it's not even really. I'm not seeing to where it's worth it, okay? All right, Virgos, if this message seems to resonate, great. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you would like to book your very own personal reading, that information is on the screen somewhere along this video. All right, my loves, ciao for now. Until next time.